what they said. It's all right, you know what I'm saying? Because I guess they said that he got kidnapped by his new niggas or something, and they was fucking this bitch or some shit or some shit or something. He, he could have he could have stopped in. He could have stopped in when he knew he got kidnapped. You know what I'm huh. saying? Feel me? Like that's that's him. You know what I'm saying? He was doing that shit for rank anyway. He was fucking with rank anyway. So when you dealing with something like that, nigga, and then he's a white kid, man. He's a kid. He's gonna he's gonna tell. You know what I'm saying? And for them niggas to have him in tied into that shit like that, they was stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like I right. was just watching him crash and burn. What we just watched is Thou, aka a thousand bars, and Tony Valley, who both are rappers from where I'm from, and they was talking about six nine situation with the law, you know, telling and things like that. And his excuses was they was fucking his baby mama and they kidnapped him. Now me, I'm not a street dude, but I also know that I don't like to be defined as anything. You know what I'm saying? I've done street activities. I'm not gonna say nothing on camera because you know it's my personal life. But I've done street things, and I don't believe in putting somebody else in a situation with you, and then when shit gets sour, you turn them. I don't believe in that. That's not cool. That's not cool, man. If you do some dirt with somebody, y'all, y'all take y'all lick together, man. Or if one of y'all get away, don't tell on the other one. Because if everything went good and everything went smooth, you wouldn't be in that predicament no way. Like, for example, me and my friend rob a bank and he get away and I don't. Telling on him ain't cool. That man got away. Let him live his life. You know what I'm saying? But that's just, just one of the examples that I could use in that situation. But... Yeah, I don't believe in telling, especially when you put a motherfucker in a situation like that. You know what I'm saying? Allegedly, 6 9 paid some people to do some things, and then he telling them, like, yeah, they did it, blah, 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 allegedly. He basically just cowarding out because he don't want to deal with what comes with being a man. You know, he's a grown man. He's like, what, 22, 23? He's an adult. You got to face the consequences that you put yourself through. And put yourself in. That's why you should never do something if you're not ready to face the consequences. I can use so many different examples. I'm not ready to do life in prison. So I'm not just going to go on no killing spree. The only time I would ever kill somebody is in self-defense. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of these crazy dudes who are going to plead insanity after shooting up churches and schools and all this crazy shit that these motherfuckers be doing, man. I'm not ready for that lifestyle. I'm never going to be ready for that lifestyle. I'm mentally stable. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got things wrong with them, but I'm mentally stable. I'm not ready to spend life in prison. And another thing, if you're going to do a crime, do it by yourself. You can't tell on nobody. Can't nobody tell on you. You face that shit like a man. Stop trusting people, man. Motherfuckers ain't trustworthy like that. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers is not trustworthy. You can't trust everybody. Them motherfuckers, I don't know how or why, but them motherfuckers that was with 6 9 I don't know what made them trust that little motherfucker, man. That shit is crazy, bro. I would have never trusted that nigga. I, I barely trust people I'm, I was born under. Like, family and shit. I barely trust family. So, what make you think I'm going to trust some little random ass kid, quote unquote, from my neighborhood to do some gangster shit with me and I don't even know this motherfucker. But, you know, you live and you learn. You know. I hope that situation worked out for the best for the people who didn't deserve what's happening to them. Thanks to... 6 9 if he really is telling. From what the transcripts say and the paperwork say, he telling. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Y'all go tap in with Thal. Y'all go tap in with Tony Belly. They make amazing music. Rappers from my city, you know what I'm saying, doing their thing. Tony Belly been on Say Cheese a couple times. Doing interviews and shit. Y'all go check them out on Say Cheese. Y'all go tap in the fam over Rich's TV. You know, they got clothes, they got the buy black, they got the uh, fam over t-shirts, F-O-R t-shirts, the fam over riches t-shirts. Y'all go tap in with they whole movement and, you know, support them, man, because I support them. You know that.